Pianist Vladimir Feltzman has been exploring the tools of his trade when he joined the New Jersey Symphony to celebrate Mozart's 250th birthday in early 2006. He played a Mozart rondo twice on the same concert. First, on an 18th century piano forte, an early version of the piano which Mozart himself used, and then on a modern Steinway. It was some irresistible charm to me in the sound, in approach, in a whole nine yards of doing Mozart on authentic piano. What's intriguing about going back to these original instruments, I think, is not the notion that you can hear the music exactly as Mozart heard it. I think that is a delusion. What's intriguing is that the instruments compel a different style of performance. When you're dealing with a keyboard instrument with a more slender tone, with more transparent textures, with a lighter action, you have to play differently. The beauty of period instruments, I think, to me, is that it forces you to do the right things. Because, let's say, you used to play Mozart on modern piano, but you cannot do things on forte piano, which you're doing there. It kind of guides you towards that authentic, I don't like the word authentic, but something genuinely Mozartian. Everything that Mozart wanted to achieve on the piano was possible to achieve on the instruments of his own day. Technique is different. You play basically with fingers. Much lighter touch, you don't have to push it hard. And style-wise, also, you can do certain things which will work very, very well phrasing-wise on forte piano, but will not work on modern piano and the other way around. This piano was built actually two years ago by Paul McNulty, one of the best builders of uh, period instruments in Europe. He lives in Prague. It's a copy of Walter Fortepiano. Walter was one of the top Fortepiano makers in uh, the second half of 18th century in Vienna. Deck is wooden, it's all wood. Uh, modern piano have much heavier materials. The earliest stringed keyboard instruments were harpsichords and clavichords. They developed in the 14th and 15th centuries. On the harpsichord, it doesn't matter really whether you hit the key hard or press it softly or press it quickly or slowly. The pluck is always going to be the same and therefore the loudness will be the same. The clavichord, on the other hand, could produce louder and softer notes, but was overall much too quiet for the concert hall. Out of the development of the clavichord and the harpsichord arose an urge on the part of instrument makers to make an instrument that would have both the loudness and brilliance of the harpsichord and the dynamic, expressive capability of the clavichord. And this process went on for quite a long time, but it reached a climax at the end of the 17th century in Italy, where Bartolomeo Cristofori developed what is now considered the first modern piano. This is actually the oldest known piano in the world, built by Cristofori around 1720. It had a hammer mechanism rather than a plucking mechanism like the harpsichords. And the hammer mechanism made it possible by the changing pressure of the fingers on the keys to produce dynamic control, gradual crescendos and decrescendos and sudden accents. Christophery called his new invention the harpsichord with soft and loud, or grave cembalo col piano e forte and the name was shortened to piano forte, which means soft and loud, and now today we normally call it just the piano.
almost a century after Cristofori invented the piano, Mozart became one of the first major composers to fully exploit the singing, expressive possibilities of the new instrument. Forte piano was the first instrument where you could actually do a lot of expressive stuff. So change the sound, play more legato, more expressive, uh, softer, louder. It had a pedal also. It's not a pedal which we used to, which you do with your feet. It's a pedal which you do with your knee. Now same with left pedal. Mm -hmm. All Mozart sonatas, most of Haydn's sonatas and uh, Beethoven's sonatas up to middle period and up to third concerto, all has been written for this instrument. So we're talking about enormous, very significant, important body of work. Pedal. 